is the 12th session of industrial economics which is related to again second chapter and in this theory i am in this session i am going to discuss about the weber's theory of industrial location first part introduction an economist of germany called alfred weber has developed a theory of industrial location in this theory he has explained various difficulties in establishment of an industry and also their solution explanation weber have analyzed the factors that determine the location of industry and classified these factors into two divisions they are primary causes which are also known as regional factors and the sector second division is secondary causes which are also known as agglomerative and deagglomerative factors so first part primary factors or regional factors according to weber there are mainly two primary factors on industrial location these factors are transportation cost and labor cost so transportation cost assuming that there are no other factors that influence the distribution of industry except transportation cost then it is clear that the location of industry will be pulled to those locations which have the lowest transportation cost the key factors that determine the transportation cost are the weight to be transported and the distance to be covered weber lists some more factors which influences the transportation cost such as the type of transportation system and its extent to use next one the nature of region and kinds of road next one the nature of goods themselves so next one labor cost the existence of differences in labor cost led to an industry to deviate from optimal point of transport transport orientation geographical distribution of the population would give rise to differences in wages for labor naturally the transport oriented location of an industry is drawn out and attracted towards the cheaper labor centers such migration of an industry from one point of minimum transport cost to a cheaper labor center may be likely to occur only where the savings in the sort of labor are larger than the additional cost of transport secondary causes or agglomerative or deagglomerative factors are So first one agglomerative factors and agglomerative factors are an advantages of production or marketing these agglomerative factors are as follows first point large number of laborers would be available in the areas of industrial centralization this is the first advantage second one it provides opportunity for technical research and third it will lead to development of banks insurance companies transportation etc fourth one it would lead to the development of by products industries these are the some advantages or agglomerative factors the second one deagglomerative or disadvantages factors are as follows increase in wage rate increment in rent increment of tax rate increase of prices of land problem of livelihood next pollution so these are the some deagglomerative factors or disadvantage and disadvantages of production and marketing so we can summarize this theory by saying in this theory weber has focused on the factors which influence on the location of industries and their effects on the centralization of industries all the factors are again categorized into several categories which would help the learners to understand the fact very easily